Hello! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to customize grid and snap settings for your precision in Canva. All right, so the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Canva web application, which of course I have done right here. Now, from this home page, all we have to do is to select the design that we want to work on. So, let's say, or it even has to be a new design in the first place, right? So, like, create a design from scratch. So, I can help us to the top right corner and click on create a design. And let's say um, a flyer. So, it's going to take me to the editing suite, which is also known as the Canva editor. So, here's the editing suite. All right, so let's see how we can make use of Canva grid and snap. All right, so customize it for precision in Canva. Okay, so here you go. So from here, we have elements. So we have this left corner of the screen, click on elements. So we have this element option right here in the search bar. All you need to do is to type grid. Watch the enter button, you're gonna see a lot of grid options. All right, so I'm going from this grid, so click on select all. And here you have a lot of options, sweet options, wide array. <laughs> okay, so let's select any of the grid options. So let's say I need this. All right, so I can just click on it. So clicking on it is, you know, it just takes me here. So I can even, like, of course, change this. It doesn't have to fit the screen. I can change this size. I'm just, I'm just moving, holding down. The left corner of my mouse and so let's say i just want that or i'm just, I'm just gonna move this again and this is my grid so this grid actually aids precision all right so i can now take photos you know and add and fix into this grid so they can definitely take their positions so let's find a photo all right so let's see i'm going over to uploads because i have already uploaded the photo i've uploaded photos so i have photos right here or you can just click on upload files to get photos import photos from your systems folder so here you go i have this all right so i can drag and drop into the first screen now don't click the picture if you click on the picture the picture is going to display it's just going to appear here and that's going to look so messy so once you drag and drop it allows you to fit to screen all right so let's say this is the other picture so just hold down the left corner of your mouse and i'm dropping in here so you see that's there but then the person's face is already cut out so all i need to do is double click the left corner of my mouse double click this picture and you see this so i can do the smart cropping thing and just drag and drop so that gives a perfect view not really perfect all right so now here it's not really perfect yet but i need to do something about it so from here I head over to the top corner you can see spacing so it means i can definitely space up my grid so i can click on that spacing i can increase the spacing or decrease the spacing so if i move the slider forward i'm increasing the spacing if i move it backwards i'm decreasing the spacing so whichever we want to get that spacing done so right here i want to of course increase this box so that i can get this head properly fit in so i'm gonna double click again and bring it downward so i can even draw it drag it down all right so so that's it so I have my background color right here. It's white. I can definitely choose to change my background color. <laughs> yeah, I changed it. Or I change it to this using the photo colors. I can change it to this. I can change it to this for the colors. Actually, my preferred options. So I change it to this too. And you see, I actually got something pretty cool. And that's fine. So you can go ahead and check grid and use any of the grid options that you want. So I'm going to add another page, all right, because I I want to like design on it again. So I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to head over to elements and go back. And here I'm going to click on frame. Frame. Grid. Of course, you know that grid is an aspect of the frame. All right. So I can choose any of this frame elements. 
let's see this no I'm just gonna click on that so they can just appear so so this is a frame all right so I'm heading right to upload again okay off the frame is there all right they so see it has helped with my precision and that's that so i can go ahead and delete this picture all right so delete image the frame so i can click on delete image and image is off but my frame still there so i can get this picture as well and put it into it and you can see it takes the form of the frame so i can just double click and draw the way down and you see that that picture is right there and it's sweet so this is pretty much how you can use the of course the grid option you can customize your grid and snap setting for precision in canva all right so this is how you can customize it for yourself all right so can go back to the tire from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this tutorial